Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and in this whole video we're going to look into Sagittarius Sun Moon and also uh, Sagittarius Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading uh, for uh, February 21st up until February 27th, uh, 2022 and uh, my god what a terrible ripple but uh if you do enjoy the content here in the channel and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell guys so you do not miss uh, any of our weekly uploads and as well uh live streams all right so let's make the cut and uh, see what you got uh first card we do have for you sagittarius uh, that will be the three of uh, wands followed by the second card here which stands of the six of cups a third one six of wands so that's six of wands i'm sorry so we do have six of wands uh third one that is going to be the four of uh pentacles uh the fourth card for you that is going to be the six of pentacles and the final one we have uh we have the seven of uh, wands all right so these five cards and uh, now let's jump right away into the reading itself so sagittarius you can see your spread on uh, uh the screen and uh there is a um, quite interesting uh follow-up of the week that happens at the end which simultaneously it's uh something not everybody is looking forward to experience and in the same time it is a testament that you are growing in a very very fast pace and uh, that is the aspect of envy and jealousy and, and greed as well so by the end of uh, this week, you're going to find yourself in a position of envy. People are, or specific people are going to envy you and they will uh, pretty much will want to knock you off your place. And that is because of uh, the first half of the week, uh, which is something we had for another star sign, uh, I believe. I got to check the videos uh, one more time but this is a uh, the very first half of the week is going to be immaculate if i can i don't know how to explain it in another way because the follow-up of these three cards uh it's a uh, long story short it says that your efforts are not just only about to come to fruition so your efforts are going to pay off in term of uh in term of development but as well you are about to get rewarded for these efforts i mean material rewards or a, uh, even relationship rewards if you will so let's start uh, with uh, the very initial stage of the week here that we do have uh, the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands pretty much states that your efforts or the efforts that you are setting on uh, in previous couple of weeks, say, or in previous couple of months now are about to consolidate into a stable pattern. <clears throat> and uh, that stable pattern pretty much will allow you to fully fulfill your expectations and therefore it means that your plans whatever plans you have for this week are going to start developing exactly the way you are expecting them to develop and this is going to bring not just only predictability to the week but as well is going to allow you Sagittarius to do things or to make approaches to perform into a um, a say project or into a say relationships which are way above your pay grade or they were way above your pay, pay grade beforehand and that whole thing is going to lead you to a peak of experiences with uh, the six of ones here that we do have at the uh, <clears throat> start to the middle of the week that is the moment guys where you are about to have a your rewards either say your boss is going to reward you for the job well done for that that you have secured the clients or you are uh, establishing ground in a project okay or just because you are doing a really really good job with the tasks given to you you have uh, you, you are able to fit them into a solid pattern a stable foundation and from there it is just a matter of time that they are to uh that they are to work out uh six of wands also brings recognition okay so you are to be recognized that you are the right person for either the job or for either the interaction for either the um what was the word here uh the connection 
for the relationship and in generally those two cards at the start of the reading uh, and the start of your week here uh, Sagittarius it does point that whatever you are after you are about to accomplish a solid milestone in that direction really really solid one now that is a milestone again I want to uh, highlight that word it is not the grand achievement yet and so if you are reaching that point where you are completely satisfied with your results and you think that your job and your growth in this field is over you better rethink again it is because you can go for so much more uh, and that is if not if, that is if you do not drop off your guard or rather like if you do not drop off your performance at that specific uh, stage of the week and uh, moving on towards the middle of the week here with uh, the four of pentacles that we have that card only points that um, you are to consolidate even further. I, for the lack of a better word, I'm going to use this one. Uh, because with the Four of uh, Pentacles, you do take those patterns you have established and you are securing their certain future uh, in the future. And uh, also you are about to take a precautionary measures, defensive actions, if you will. So nothing can be ruined. The, nothing of what you have accomplished thus far is, is ruined by something or by anybody moving forward into the future. Uh, I do believe that that is the moment where you are to uh, secure a position, to secure a position as... Um, as a promotion to secure a position as a boyfriend or a girlfriend to secure a position in generally as a standpoint and as an opinion as well so your your aims at the start that you are entering the, the week with rest assured by the middle of it are going to come true for their major to uh, to a big extent and uh, from there on moving forward is just going to be a matter of time uh, for you to just make them real make them true all of it that is and uh, this growthful beginning of the week is not going to be left unnoticed unfortunately it is because with the six of pentacles uh, after the middle of the week uh, people will kind of like start withdrawing their support now their support it's not needed at that particular point it's not like withdrawing uh, their support but for the lack of a better word i'm gonna i'm gonna use that word they're withdrawing their support because like i said their support is not needed i mean you have everything covered up it's just it doesn't matter if if these people support you or not and that is exactly what is going to start provoking envy that is exactly what is going to start provoking jealousy say from your co-workers say from your uh, <clears throat> uh from your competitors say as well from a friend of yours it's not that that is very common especially in the teenage years where two people mate up a man a, a boy and a girl but in the same time, there is another boy that has a crush on the girl and it is a friend with the first boy. And it's just, you know, that jealousy starts to build up this, this drama, this dilemma. That could be also a case which you hear. Uh, and, and it is important to know with the Six of Pentacles, it is that you do take a place in the hierarchy. You fought for that place. You waged wars for it. And it is yours. So you should not be... Uh, intimidated or taunted to leave it out because that is exactly what we have at the end of the week here with the seven of wands so with the seven of wands uh, at the end the whole situation is gonna test you you are gonna be tested uh, outwardly and inwardly as well you know outwardly by a competition inwardly by a temptation uh, to, to leave the place where you are, to scratch down the accomplishments you are able to achieve here at the very start of the week, the very first three cards of the week, and either prove yourself into something that you don't have to prove at all, or just answer a certain challenge. Uh, it's, uh, it's very... Seven of Wands, it's kind of a very difficult card to overcome. Uh, that is because the competition or the rivalry, it's not even a competition, it's a rivalry, okay? So the rivalry is very unfair. And under unfair, I mean that your rival here, the, 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 the person which, is, which envies you, the person which wants to see you down 
it's gonna act behind your back and you gotta know that in in war and in love whatever that is all about there, there are no rules at the end of the day the winner takes it all the winner takes the position the winner takes um the suitor and uh in those cases primarily people act through uh, gossips and through rumors and so it's highly likely by the end of this week to see to to hear i'm sorry a fallacies about yourself for example that you are not faithful enough uh, that you are uh, a, a bad person because of this that and this okay uh, to hear that you have done something wrong which you haven't and it is very very important it's actually it's imperative that you do challenge those fallacies right away because otherwise they escalate very quickly and it, they, they are getting out of hand and uh if you do let them to kind of like suffuse your environment it's, it, after a few days or after a week it's going to be impossible for you to contest them so it's very important to be to have that readiness to jump into action but and that is why you have to resist the temptation because you will have a temptation for example not to address those fallacies it's just they're going to be beneath you and that's true but nonetheless like i said they are going to escalate and outwardly is going to be the outward the challenge here is going to be uh the taunt from different situations for you to leave the place that you have established to yourself so summarizing all that uh, it seems that this is a week where you are to uh, more or less reap the fruits of your labor sagittaries uh, where you are to be rewarded for your efforts whether with uh, you are to be rewarded with a date person uh, with a person that you are interacting with or you are to be rewarded with promotion or with a raise whatever you are after you are to be rewarded with it and that will um escalate things with uh, a person who is also involved to a certain extent with the situation because they will want your place and they will fight for it unfairly or behind the curtains and you have to answer that uh, that challenge here and so that concludes your reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye